and make no make no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled. Uh, they they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond what they are all looked for, right? And that's one of the ways the Most High is going to sanctify us before the the, the faces of such as afflicted us. Right? And let's go back to um, Ezekiel the thirty-six chapter, and this is the um, twenty-third verse. And it says, "And I will sanctify my great name, which they have profaned among the heathen." which ye have profaned in the midst of them and the heathen shall know that i am the lord and the uh, uh, saith the lord when i shall be sanctified in you before their eyes for i'll make uh, for i'll take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and i'll bring you into your own lands the most i was going to bring us he's going to bring us from all these different countries and he's going to bring us into our own land all right then i will i sprinkle you with clean water and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will i cleanse you Right, and a new heart will I give you, right, and a new spirit will I put within you, right, uh, uh, and I'll take away the stony one out of your, your uh, I'll take away out of the stony, I'll take out the stony one out of your flesh, and I will give you a new heart of, of flesh, right. Now let's jump to uh, Hebrews the eighth chapter and eighth verse. Right, which speaks on exactly the same thing, where with the more side is going to take away that old spirit that he did, you know, the old heart. The old heart, uh, uh, where with the Lord's statutes and commandments that we have, is going to give us a new one. It says Hebrews 8 and 8, and says, For finding fault with them, he saith, The days come when, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of uh, Israel and the house of Judah. It doesn't talk about the whole people on the earth, it's just talking about the, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. All right, it says, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them out, of the, uh, when, in the day when I took them to lead them out of the land of Egypt. But they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Most High. For this covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws within their minds, and I will write them in their hearts, and I will, I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a power. So that new covenant that's going to be written, that's going to be us pre being pro born, pre-programmed with the Lord's statutes, commandments written within our minds. Right, basically doing the will of the Most High in all instances. That's the new covenant that the Most High is going to make with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, nobody else. Right, um, this is back in Ezekiel, the 36th chapter. All right, and it says, And I'll, and a new heart will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I'll take away the stony one out of your flesh, and I'll give you a new a heart of flesh. And I'll put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them. All right? That's what we're going to be like in the kingdom. And right? it says, and they shall, and, and and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave your fathers, and ye shall be to me a people, and I'll be to you a power. All right? So that's the heritage that's going to be all uh, uh, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. All right? And let's just jump to the thirtieth verse, just to prove that the you know the, the uh, 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 the people that are in that land right now are not the real people. It says, "I'll multiply fruit, uh, the fruit of the trees, and I'll increase the field, that, and ye shall receive no more reproach or famine among the heathen. And ye shall uh, then shall ye remember your own evil ways, and your doings were not good. And ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight and uh, for your iniquities if, uh, and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I do to say of the Most High, right?" Uh, be it known, uh, be ashamed, uh, uh, and be confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Right? So, he was going to increase. Uh, um, in that day, the most is basically going to increase you know, all, all kind of fruit and, 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 and resources and riches were upon that land. I mean, it's safe because we know that the, the, the land of Israel right now is barren. Those those are not the people of the most high. Clear cut and simple. Right, and pretty much with that said, we're gonna sign out and say double honors to the elders, uh, honors to your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. We'll see you on the next one. Shalom.